Hi, it's Dave Reverend Astro, and this hopefully is going to be a fairly short video. Last night I went out to a remote site so that I could photograph Ro Ofuyuki and the Blue Horsehead, and I brought out two rigs. I brought out my last Mandy with my Aperture 75Q, and I brought out my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro with my Rokinon 135. And with the Rokinon, I was capturing, I had set it up, and I was capturing Ro Ofuyuki. And with the Aperture 75, I was beginning to get captures on the Blue Horsehead. And the sky conditions were pretty decent. There was a little bit of low-level clouds, uh, but they dissipated by about 10.30. Uh, this time of the year, right now, at least last night, um, Ro Ofuyuki doesn't rise um, up into the horizon um, until about 10 o'clock and even then it's only 10 degrees and it only reaches maximum um, altitude of 30 degrees so there isn't much of a imaging window but in the middle of the night at about midnight or thereabouts both of my uh, rigs I lost wireless connectivity to. I was checking in for the last time and there were, had been intermittent um, connectivity where suddenly they would drop out and then they would come back online and then they would drop out and come back online and I was figuring that I had issues and I was trying to troubleshoot but I didn't know what the root cause was. And then finally, both, both PCs, both the mini PCs on the rig, just shut down. Did not reboot. When I went to go look at them, they were shining red. And so I turned them back on, waited about a half an hour for them to finally boot and come back up to where as I could connect to them. And lo and behold, Windows had done an update on both at the same time. Now, I usually try to catch the updates before I go out on an imaging session, uh, especially if I'm going to go remote. I try to, you know, go in and um, do any kind of updates that have to take place. I typically focus on the software and I'll check the Windows updates and I still had like a couple weeks on my Windows updates so I gave or I thought I did so I gave it no more thought well apparently I was mistaken because both decided to update last night in the middle of my imaging session and not only did they update in the middle of the imaging session but then I was confronted with the reality that I could not connect to anything that used a virtualized serial port, which meant for the EQ6R Pro, I lost connectivity to the mount, I lost connectivity to rotators, I lost connectivity to a whole host of different pieces and parts, and lo and behold, I could not image any longer. Now, Windows has done this to me a couple of times, but not to the point where it basically prevented me from being able to image. I had always been able to recover, and so I just kind of always, I always just kind of laughed it off and said, oh well. Um, and I know how to fix these things, and that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you all how to shut off Windows Update so that way you can stabilize your setup and once you get your setup the way you like it you don't have to worry about windows just deciding off the deciding that hey you're in the middle of imaging Ro Ofuyuki I think this is a great time to do a windows update let's go ahead and get you the latest and shiniest and brand newest version of windows and oh yeah let's keep you from connecting to any of your devices because we wouldn't want that now would we and I had been meaning to do this but I was lazy 
as most of us probably kind of are, we kind of know that we have to fix things and resolve some issues, but we keep pushing it off because we have a temporary fix and it seems to be working. And last night that temporary fix uh, came back to bite me in the butt. So brought all my gear home this morning and I decided instead of troubleshooting and trying to uh, fix things and the first telescope which I'm working on which is the Aperture 75Q. So what you see here on the screen is basically a blank canvas. I don't have any Astro stuff here installed whatsoever. This is just the pure basic Windows install. So how do we turn off Windows updates? Typically, you can kind of go into like settings, you go down here to Windows Update, and you notice here that I've got it paused uh, because basically I came down here and I paused it for five weeks, so that way it will not update until 6.14, uh, and I've got it turned off so it won't even download them. Um, but when 6.14 comes, it's going to resume the updates and it's going to download a whole bunch of them and it's just going to update things and who knows what damage that might do. So we need, I need, to shut down Windows Update so that way it doesn't update unless I want it to. So the settings is not the place to go. So you can do this on Windows 10 as well, for those of you that are still running Windows 10. I'm running Windows 11 um, Professional, which makes it a little bit funky because they hid my favorite piece of the context menu so that of this, remember this used to be my, my computer, now it says this PC. So they renamed it again. Um, I liked my computer better, but that's okay. So it's this PC. If we right mouse button click, one of my favorite menu options here was manage. And in Windows 11, you have to go down here to show more options and you finally get the old style Windows 10, Windows 7 menu. And here we are, we want to get into manage. Now you can do a lot of things from this console. Um, you can look at tasks, uh, system tools, storage, uh, performance uh, monitor is right there, device manager, disk management. For those of you that have a desktop where you're running multiple disks, that's where you go for this. But what we're looking for here is service and applications, and specifically the services. These are little applications, Windows applications or vendor applications that start up or can start up when you boot into Windows. And what we want to do is stop Windows Update. So to do that, we're going to look for a service down here called Windows Update. And it's down here near the bottom. And it's right here. So it enables the, the, the detection, the download, and installation of updates for Windows and other programs. If this service is disabled, users of this computer will not be able to use Windows Update or its automatic update feature, and programs will not be able to use the Windows Update service to update themselves. That includes things like Windows Defender. So if you use Windows Defender, you're not going to be able to automatically update um, the virus signatures. Uh, if you have Microsoft Office, um, Office 365, you're not going to be able to up update any of your desktop Microsoft apps. Um, basically, this shuts all that stuff down. But there's a limited runtime for this little PC. It's on my um, it's on my telescope, so 
it's not as critical in terms of virus protection and stuff like that. It's not like my regular desktop where I would not disable Windows updates, but because I want a stable imaging platform, I want to disable it. So to do that, all that you need to do is double click on Windows Update, and you see that the service is running, is set up as manual, um, and you're gonna to wanna to stop the service. That's the first thing you're gonna do, is you're gonna make it stop, so that way it stops running. And then you're gonna go up here to Start Type, and you're gonna click on Disabled. And once you disable this, it is not going to run when Windows launches. And you see here that it is now showing as disabled. And if I want to do a Windows update, I just come back in here and do the reverse. I just come back in here and I change this to manual and hit apply. And then I hit start and it will restart that surface that service and now the service is running and then I can go and I can do my Windows updates but I don't want to do Windows updates so I'm going to stop this puppy and then we're going to go to disabled and hit apply and there we go no more Windows updates in the middle of my imaging sessions and we can close out of this and there we go so if you found this to be at all helpful, please hit the thumbs up down below. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want, subscribe. It wouldn't hurt my feelings. And until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.